follows me. Sasquatch stole my phone. What's Bigfoot going to do with a phone? Go on Tinder? I can't go on Tinder. His profile picture would be too blurry. How can anyone be stupid enough to believe in Sasquatch? I mean, what kind of bonehead would... Oh, yeah, right. I forgot you believe. Well, I wouldn't say I believe, believe. I'm just open-minded to the possibility of a huge, hairy, primordial primate strolling through the countryside undetected. I'm sorry, but I won't be getting on board until there's some proof. Oh, sure, but you believe in gravity. Pardon? Gravity. You've never seen it. You can't hear it. You can't feel it. If I pushed you off a roof, you'd feel it. You can't smell it. At least you can smell a Sasquatch. It's like a diuretic skunk, according to eyewitnesses and nose witnesses. How about unicorns? I hear they smell like lavender and fresh muffins. You believe in them, too? <laughs> You're thinking about which one would win in a fight, aren't you? It's too close to call. You think there's not a lot And then, just when you think Prince Hatteron is going to sign the Declaration of Peace, he spins around and slop, chops off Lord Farnax's head. Can you believe it? I can't even understand it. I know. What's his motivation? No, I don't understand the words you're saying. I don't watch your stupid War Monarch show. It's not War Monarch. It's Throne Strife. And I can't believe you're not into it. You're such an elf luck. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. I was hoping you'd come in today. Really? I know. Sounded weird to me, too. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, can't reach the top shelf? No, jerk. Do you have a jigsaw? I was a puzzle gonna help you put milk away. How about you just shut your question hole and listen? I'm planning a little something to trick Brent, and I could use your help. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Tricking? That's a slippery slope. Not tricking exactly. More of a hoax. Hoax? That's a rich man's lie. Oh, it's not lying. It's just, it's like play acting. For entertainment purposes. Well, I did do a little acting in high school. I was in an all-male production of Reservoir Dogs. <gasps> I remember. You were the waitress. Hey, why are you guys named after colors? Mr. Pink, Mr. Blue, <laughs> more like rainbow dogs. I didn't have any lines, but I improv some stuff. They were wrong to cut you. If you start now, you could catch up on all the episodes in about a month. It'd mean watching 12 hours a day, but doable. Because this conversation isn't wasting enough of my life? Are you guys talking about throne strife? He's talking. I'm glazing. I love throne strife. Did you see the last episode when Prince had a run, spun around, and chopped Farnix's head, head off? Ugh. Yeah, it looked just like that. Hi, Brent. Hey, do you believe in gravity? Well, it's helpful when it comes to pouring things, so I suppose I do. Sasquatches? Did I black out and miss a chunk of this conversation? I knew it. You don't believe in Sasquatch either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down and start over. You know what it is? Still no. You're from the big city. And when you grow up in the big city, it closes you off from anything that isn't completely concrete. You have a concrete mind. And now you're insulting me for no reason? You're a product of your environment. I forgive you. Well, bless you, Father. Now, can I grab a coffee to go? I gotta get back to this station because Wanda isn't around for some reason. Maybe she got kidnapped by a Sasquatch. Serve her right. You know, I don't find that very funny at all. Okay. Not my best joke, but sheesh, lighten up. And there's the other one. Hey, these look pretty good. Huh? Uh-oh. I made two left feet. Just flip one over. Then you'll be walking in circles. I'll take over from here. You go rest your brain. But if Lord Zalwart marries the Dark Duchess, there'll have to be a treaty. Ooh. I'm so glad to have someone to talk to about this stuff. You know, this may be a little awkward, but... There's a throne strife cosplay convention in the city, and you want me to go with you, and I'd love to. That was the opposite of awkward. Hey, Oscar. Hey, yourself. I guess with Emma hanging out with Davis, and Davis hanging out with Emma, you and I have to hang out. No, we don't. Well, Abit's talking about goblins and Muppets, so if we're gonna be hanging out... We're not. What kind of stuff are you into? Sports? Huh? What's your favorite team? The Boston Bruins, the Winnipeg Jets. The zip your lips. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Shh, quit giggling. You're gonna wake Brent up. Oh, you scared, Hank? Scared of the Squatch? Uh, quit freaking me out! <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, Could have got a jigsaw from anyone. 
Drop me off at Oscar and Emma's. Then pick me up in a couple hours. What? Why? Emma's gonna help me with my cosplay outfit for the Throne Strife Convention. You know we're not like volunteer firemen. This is a real job. Emma! I'm going out! Hi, Oscar. Emma home. How should I know? Hey, Oscar. Where you headed? I'm going down to the corner of Shut Up and Mind Your Own Business. I'll give you a lift. Hey, Hank. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, hey, Brent. You okay? You look like you maybe killed a guy and hid his body and then forgot where. I wish that's all it was. If something's bothering you, best to get it off your chest. Uh, well, it's just... Hi, Hank, what you doing? Nothing. I didn't say something or anything like that. Oh, Wanda, I'm glad you're here. I'm dying to tell you about the tracks I found around my house. What manner of tracks? Well, don't laugh. But they look like Sasquatch tracks. No. I know, but I, I can't be 100% certain. That's because they're... Ah! Let him finish, Hank. Why aren't you convinced? There weren't any discernible dermal ridges like fingerprints. All the quality tracks have them. If there were dermal ridges, I'd be 100% sure they were authentic. Oh, hasn't this gone far enough? This is slow slogging and my hands are cramping. But it'll be worth it once I... Ow! Son of a... That hurt? Put your thumb down here. No. Put your head down here. No. Come on. I'm trying to get to know you a bit better here. You must have some hobbies, interests. Hobbies are stupid, and interests are boring. Hey! Are those supposed to be tomatoes or grapes? <laughs> Pretty weak effort. They're grape tomatoes! But you must like something. Movies, books, bird watching. Too loud, too quiet, too nosy. Hey, pick up after your stupid dog. What the hell do you think this is? Potato salad? Aha, uh -huh. you do have a hobby, Oscar. It's been a crotchety crank. He wasn't picking up his dog's dump. It was literally in his hand the whole time. Your outfit is coming along great. Thanks. Not sure if you can tell, but I'm a warrior of shuffling. Of course I can. Can you tell that I'm Draxella, queen mother of the Lazardians? You totally nailed it. Really? Because I don't see any bowing. Sorry. Ring kiss. Scepter smooch. Damn straight. So I complain a bit. It's good for the community. I tell idiots they're idiots. The idiots thereby learn they're idiots. It's win-win. I'm just saying, I think you complain too much. And you're too loud right out of the gate. Too yelly. Is that a word? See? See what? <laughs> you just complained about my complaining. Yeah, but that's... I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Hey, you staying for another? Uh, I don't think so. The one bottle of red wine they have has been sitting open since Christmas. Come on, I could tell you all about the Sasquatch tracks I found. Really? Well, no, not really. Wanda's screwing with me, so I'm screwing with her right back. Gonna make her jump through a few hoops, because no one screws with a screwmaster. Hey, what sounds better, screwmaster or screwmeister? I wouldn't Google either of them. But listen, are you totally sure those footprints are fakes? Yeah, that's an odd question. I just... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I got upset earlier. I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid you'd make fun of me. I've never told anyone this before, but a long time ago, like years and years ago, I saw a Sasquatch. Oh my God, they killed Lord Farnax. <laughs> Emma, we're out of jam. There's marmalade. Oh, holy hell, did you spend the night in our kitchen? No. Got here early to finish up our outfits. Emma's faith gown is really on point, but the jewels of Jalagra won't stay on my battle cup. Jewels Jalagras? Speak English. There's no English in the forest of Melador. And there's no me in this conversation. Hi, Oscar. And here's Officer Flapgum on top of it. On top of what? Your big, dumb, fully grown adult partner is in my kitchen sewing Halloween costumes so he can pretend he's on some show. The old shows were better. Milton Burlesque, the Honey Drippers, make room for Beaver. Not this weirdo crap that Emma and Davis are on about. Davis doesn't go on about it. He goes on and on and on about it. They should call it drone strife. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good at complaining. I am? Yeah. You got the gift of the grouse. What else don't you like about that stupid show? Well, 
I hate how Davis mocks me for not knowing the magic words of some wizard spell. There you go. Meanwhile, if we ever have to fill out some form, he's like, Karen, what's my phone number? <laughs> That's good stuff. Let's go share your gift around town. My gift? You can't say, I saw a Sasquatch, and then just leave it at that. Like you said, I own several spoons. Spoons? See, now you need to know more. Ugh, okay, fine. Don't go spreading this around. But yes, I saw a Sasquatch as a teen. How do you know it was a teen? Because it had acne. It wasn't a teen, you goof, I was. It happened back in summer camp. I was maybe 12 or 13 years old. It was late at night. I had to pee really bad, but it was dark and creepy in the woods, and the outhouse was so far away. Don't tell me you left the tent. I crawled out of the tent. Oh, my God. And headed for some bushes nearby. I was just about to drop my PJs when I saw a silhouette. It was huge and upright, with glowing yellow eyes. It glared at me, made some low, guttural sound, and then slowly walked away. Walked on two legs into the woods. I didn't even finish my business. I just pulled up my PJs and ran back to camp. I would have finished my business the second I saw it, pants or no pants. Don't joke. It really freaked me out. It still bothers me to this day. What? It's just, I, I mean, it's a compelling story for sure. Story? You don't believe me. I'm just wary that you might be screwing with me here. Oh, you hypocrite. You get all worked up because Wanda won't believe this stuff, but you won't believe me? But, you see, that's exactly how you'd play this if you were screwing with me. Ugh. I can't keep up these late-night shenanigans. I'm exhausted. Oh, my. Well, why are you even up? I have to be here for work. You have no job. No responsibilities. No hope. No future. I can't sleep. I'm too stressed about this web of lies. Web? It's one thing. I can't take it. My, my stomach's a web of knots. Have you ever seen a web? I have to tell Brent about our Sasquatch hoax. You keep your yap shut. Yeah? Or what? Or I'll tell Brent about how you've been hoaxing him with the Sasquatch stuff. What? No! No, don't tell! I'll play ball! Oh, you guys, you will never believe this. You shouldn't either. Oh. Do go on. I saw fresh tracks this morning, and guess what? Loaded with dermal ridges. The deepest, dermaliest ridges anyone's ever seen. Ha! Huh. Well, I guess that cinches it. Yep, almost. Almost. Well, it's spring, right? That's the mating season for the Sasquatch, so naturally anyone would expect to hear some mating songs. Long, howling mating songs between 2 and 4 a.m. Then I'd know for sure. <sighs> this is a web! <laughs> Hey, Juan, when are you gonna get some bananas that aren't 70% black spot? These look like a Dalmatian with jaundice. Am I right, Karen? Uh, yeah. And those apples look like they belong in a senior center. They're old and wrinkled. Kind of sad. They're mangoes. Oh. Yeah, well, our point still stands. Get some fresh stuff or I'll never buy fruit here again. Good. Enjoy your scurvy! I suppose we could have changed into our outfits once we got there. Sure. We could go halfway and look like totally uncommitted newbies. Is that what you want, Emma? No. Is that what you want? Settle down. Sorry. <laughs> to the darkened forests of Melador! Seriously. Sorry. I kind of blew it back at the fruit stand. Complaining is like a muscle. It's it's weak at first, but if you keep exercising, it gets big and strong, and pretty soon, you're kicking sand in people's faces at the beach. Dude, what the hell? I can hear that god-awful rap hop spelling out of your head, even with these earplugs in. It's hauling oats. I don't care what you're hauling. You're gonna get yourself killed riding around with your ears plugged in traffic. Traffic? Just because there aren't any vehicles doesn't mean there isn't any traffic. Uh, that's exactly what that means. Kid's right. That made no sense. Ah! Oh, stop 
doing that? Just here for a coffee, that's all. So anyway, on another topic, when you saw your Sasquatch, were you surprised at how flat his head was? Pretty flat head, right? Not really. Actually, his head sort of rose up into a cone. Yes, it's called the sagittal crest. But how did you know that? Wait, are you just trying to trip me up because you don't believe me? No, 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 I'm just, I'm making casual conversation about what you think your creature's arm to torso ratio might be. That's all. I kept that a secret for so long because I didn't think anyone would believe me. Then I finally share it with someone I think I can trust and this is what I get? I'm sorry, the, the hoaxes and pranks are swirling around hot and heavy out there. I'm just trying to watch my back. Yeah, well now you can watch mine. Sick burn. That skateboard kid kind of rattled me. I, I can do better than that. Well, here's your chance. Oh, no. Oscar, we can't. Hey, kid. You got a license to operate that thing? I don't know, but I scrolled through the lemons myself. Typical. Write her up, Karen. She's just a little kid. Well, at least give her a good scare. Cuff her and rough her. Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I, I mean, trouble. You are doing a great job. You disappoint me, Karen. I don't care. I'm okay with telling a grown man he's got wrinkly mangoes, but I'm not gonna shake down a five-year-old girl. Complaining knows no age or gender. It's blind, like Lady Justice. You're either all in or you're out. What's it gonna be? I'll take one glass, please. I choose positivity over negativity. <laughs> This is terrible! What'd you make this with? Fresh squeezed diapers? <laughs> Whoa up! Oh no, I've become you! <laughs> Keep dreaming. I can't believe we have to stay up again and make stupid mating calls. Besides, what, what do Sasquatch mating calls even sound like? Probably loud, because they're big. But at the same time, they're, they're trying to be sexy, right? So, uh, maybe it's like, uh... <laughs> that sexy? This isn't romance. It's propagation of a species. It's, it's about power. It's like... <laughs> He's never gonna get any action like that. No, it's like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Nothing. Hank hurt his foot. When? Get down! Yeah, I, I mean... Girl. I see. Well, I can't wait for tonight. Between the mating calls and the fresh scat, it's gonna be exciting. Scat? Yeah, like wherever legitimate tracks are found, there's always some fresh scat. You know, poo, flop, dumplings. That's it. I'm done. There's no way I'm handling fresh poop just to pull off a hoax. Me neither. Oh, yeah. I could have just got you to do it. Damn it. <laughs> game set and match. No, game squatch and match. No, game sass and squatch. Yeah, they're all gold. There goes the screwmaster. He prefers screwmeister. How much further? Not far. Maybe you should have a nap. Uh, too excited? Let's have a snack. I've prepared some Throne Strife themed treats. There's ribs of Ragnarok, which are really just beef, and blood bread. Jam on buns. And a thermos of hot storm broth. What storm broth? The Torgon army. Drank it in book five. Ah, uh, I've never read the books. I've only seen the shows. Oh, Emma. You really must read the books. Right. Well, maybe one of these days you simply can't fully appreciate the breadth of the melador universe without the originating literature literature let's not get too snooty professor i shan't i don't want to make an enemy of the queen mother of the lizardians and have her poison me like she did king stamic what after she found out he was her long lost brother who was actually her stepson it was in book number oh Why are we stopping? Why do you think? You want me to drive? Your Highness, you can't just leave me here like a lost Gelder Lane. Can I have this storm broth?
<laughs> Thanks for the ride, Brent. Jerk. I mean, I couldn't believe Emma would just strand me on the highway like that. It was a total betrayal. Like how Prince Wexling of Massacronia backstabbed the Crimsonites. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going on about throne strife again. You don't hear me complaining. You want another glass? If you're buying. Another round, Sally! Thanks, Officer Kelly. And thanks for letting me know I had to use sugar. Ah, honestly, next time you get a knife in the neck. I'm here to apologize. I saw something last night that sort of rocked my world. I won't go into detail, but I'm sorry I doubted you. I believe you saw that Sasquatch. Oh, that? Ah, I was just screwing with you. Visit us at cornergas.com. <laughs>